Ever found yourself making a decision in the heat of the moment that you later regretted? We've all been there, haven't we? Emotions, powerful and raw, can sometimes lead us astray. They can push us to make impulsive decisions that we later wish we could take back. This brings us to the profound quote, you have to train your mind to be stronger than your feelings, or else you'll lose yourself. The key to not losing yourself lies in mastering your emotions. So, what does it mean to train your mind to be stronger than your feelings? Let's break it down. At the core of this quote is the concept of emotional strength. This isn't about suppressing or ignoring your emotions but rather understanding and managing them. It's about developing a mental resilience that can weather the storm of emotional turbulence. Think of your mind as the captain of your ship, and your feelings as the unpredictable sea. The captain doesn't control the sea, but navigates through it. This means recognizing when a wave of emotion is coming and knowing how to ride it out. It's about making decisions based on long-term goals and values, rather than short-term emotional impulses. This quote also emphasizes the potential danger of letting our feelings rule us unchecked. If we let our emotions steer, we can easily veer off course. Unchecked emotions can lead us astray, but a trained mind can keep us on course. Why should we strive to control our emotions? This question is at the heart of emotional regulation, a skill that offers profound benefits when mastered. A key advantage of emotional regulation is improved decision-making. When we allow our feelings to take the driver's seat, we often make choices that seem right in the heat of the moment, but in hindsight, are less than ideal. Think about that time when anger drove you to say something you later wished you hadn't, or when fear made you pass up an opportunity you now regret. Emotional regulation helps us pause, evaluate our feelings and make informed decisions rather than impulsive ones. It provides us with the clarity to separate what we feel from what we know, allowing us to act in our best interest. Another significant benefit is the enhancement of our relationships. Emotional regulation allows us to respond rather than react to situations, paving the way for healthier interactions. It enables us to express our feelings in a respectful and constructive manner, fostering deeper connections with our loved ones. Moreover, emotional regulation contributes to our overall well-being. It helps us to maintain an inner equilibrium, reducing the likelihood of emotional burnout and promoting mental resilience. Controlling our emotions doesn't mean suppressing them, it means managing them effectively. It's about acknowledging our feelings, understanding them, and then consciously deciding how we will respond to them. By mastering emotional regulation, we can navigate life's ups and downs with greater ease and grace. So, how can we train our minds to be stronger than our feelings? Let's start with mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of being fully present in the moment, aware of where we are and what we're doing, without being overly reactive or overwhelmed by our surroundings. It's like taking a step back and observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment. This practice can help us better understand our emotions and how they influence our behavior. Now you might be wondering how do I practice mindfulness? Well, one way is through meditation. Meditation is a tool that helps us develop our capacity for mindfulness. It's a moment to pause, breathe and tune in to how we're feeling. It's about sitting quietly and paying attention to our thoughts, sounds, the sensations of breathing or parts of the body, and bringing our attention back whenever the mind starts to wander. Another powerful tool in our emotional control arsenal is journaling. Journaling provides an outlet for our thoughts and emotions. It's an opportunity to express ourselves freely, to reflect on our feelings and understand them better. It's like having a conversation with ourselves. We can ask ourselves why am I feeling this way? What triggered this emotion? What can I learn from this experience? Through these questions, we can gain insights into our emotional patterns and triggers, enabling us to manage our emotions more effectively. But remember, this is not a one-size-fits-all approach. Different techniques work for different people. It's about finding what works best for you and making it a part of your daily routine. It's not about striving for perfection, but about progress. It's about taking small steps every day towards greater emotional control. And let's not forget, it's not about eliminating or suppressing our emotions. Emotions are a natural part of being human. They're signals telling us something about our experiences. It's about understanding these signals, not letting them overwhelm or control us. It's about responding to our emotions in a way that serves our best interests rather than reacting impulsively. Remember, it's not about eliminating emotions, but about understanding and managing them. Wondering if all this effort is worth it. 
Let's delve into the success stories of individuals who have harnessed their emotional strength, illustrating just how transformative this journey can be. Imagine the story of Jane, a single mother of two, who found herself constantly overwhelmed by her emotions. Her frustration and stress often led to impulsive decisions that she later regretted. But Jane decided to make a change. She dedicated herself to mindfulness practices and journaling, slowly but surely gaining control over her emotions. Today, Jane is a successful entrepreneur. She attributes her success to her emotional strength, which she says has made her a more focused, patient, and effective leader. Then, there's the tale of Robert, a young man who wrestled with anger issues. His volatile emotions were a barrier to forming meaningful relationships. Robert committed to a path of emotional control, using meditation as his tool. The result? Not only has Robert's personal life flourished, but his professional life has too. He's now a respected team leader known for his calm composure and empathetic approach. Jane and Robert are just two examples among countless others. They are living proof that training your mind to be stronger than your feelings can lead to personal growth, achievement, and success. Their stories are a testament to the power of emotional strength, demonstrating how it can transform your life, your relationships, and your career. Their success can be your success too. Training your mind to be stronger than your feelings is a journey, not a destination. To embark on this journey, we've discussed the importance of understanding the power of emotions, dissecting the quote, and recognizing the benefits of emotional regulation. We've also offered strategies to strengthen your emotional control and shared triumphant stories of emotional strength. Now, it's your turn to take small steps towards emotional strength using mindfulness techniques, meditation, and journaling. Remember, a stronger mind leads to a stronger you.